Hi guys, this is Karan Bilani from Mobi Scrub and before I talk about the apps for the Galaxy Note 2 or the S3 and so on, I just want to tell you that managing applications is a lot more important and with a lot of apps, uh, it can become really difficult navigating them. So you should just put them all in particular folders named according to their groups. It makes it really easy. The first app that I want to talk about is AirDroid, which is basically a very simple application that allows you to transfer files, videos, music, anything. Just be on the same network as your computer and uh, type in the web address or that IP address and put in this password and you are presented with an interface where you can transfer files. The second one is Easy Uninstaller. Uninstalling apps is very difficult when it when you go to settings and application because you know you have to do it one by one. Here you can just multi-select the applications that you want to uninstall. So for example, I'm uninstalling Flipboard and so on. And then you just press the uninstall button and it in uninstalls these applications one by one. Really handy and very simple, very less time consuming. Now for all the Note 2 users out there with the S Pen or the original Galaxy Note, you've got Scribble Racer. It's a really interesting S Pen game wherein, you know, you just have to make sure that you don't hit the walls around. Now it's obviously easy when you start and it's kind of slow. So just make sure that you do not hit the walls and you collect your coins and you collect fruits. Uh, you know, well, just the usual way to score. Now, if you hit, you just fall back. Now, it obviously gets a lot faster uh, as and when you, um, you know, proceed through the entire game. But it's really addictive, it's fun, and, you know, it's not something that you can play for too long, but it's definitely something you can play, you know, just at a whim. The other application that I want to talk about is Photo Desk. Now, it is a lot like uh, the gallery view that you already have in the Note 2 or the S3 or the Galaxy Grand. But uh, this comes with slightly different features. Now, let's go into a particular folder, say, um, there you go, saved. Now, when I take my S Pen and I hover, instead of air view, it, inf it gives me basic information about the file. So, you know, the file size, where it's located, uh, the resolution of the image and so on. With the button, if I just hover the S Pen and I press the button, it gives me the options to rotate or share or delete. So it's really different from the gallery view that you've seen in the sense the way it works. With the Photodesk editor, you can now uh, write or, uh, you know, mark things within the uh, image. And, uh, you know, at times it's really handy and this is something I really keep looking forward to uh, in images. You know, when I just want to mark particular things and send it or share it with my friends, uh, this is really handy. So, you know, Photodesk does have a few uh, things that you do not have in the regular gallery view. The other thing is that you can obviously multi-select images and, you know, group them together and put them into some other folder, uh, just like that, just a simple drag and drop. It's already there in the other gallery view, but, well, it's still uh, there in Photodesk as well. Astrid is the next app that I'm going to talk about. It's a productivity to-do app. So basically you can add tasks and, uh, you know, for example, send documents to the agency. All right. And uh, when do I want to finish this task? I can just pick a date. So say 2nd April um, and, uh, you know, pick up morning time because that's when I reach office and I want to make sure that I'm doing it. Um, I can make it repeating as well, you know, so I can make it repeat from today uh, until 10th every one day or every two days, something like that. And then I can even assign uh, this task. So if someone else is using Astrid, I just have to add them here and, you know, they'll get the task. It's as simple as that. Now, let me just set up, uh, say, I want to call back. I'll well, just call back. I'll, I'll leave it there. And uh, let's give it a time, uh, for example, so that it shows up right now. And I'll just pick a time for one because it's four right now. So that, you know, it shows up. And then I'm going to show you what options we have uh, once the notification comes for this. So when notification comes, you know, it's right there. Now, you have the option to snooze it. A lot of times you can't complete the task there and then. So, you know, you want a reminder again in, say, 20 minutes. So I just take uh, 20, select the drop down, select minutes, and that's it. Bang. After 20 minutes, it's going to remind me again. Needless to say, you can obviously uh, group your tasks between home, personal, or even customize names. You can create shopping lists. So it's easier to manage your tasks and they're all in one place depending upon where you've uh, grouped them. Now with the S Pen, you've got the freedom to draw freehand. Sketchbook Mobile Express is a wonderful app and you know, it's the interface is really interesting. It's, uh, it's very good and it's uh, very easy to understand. You've got a variety of brushes, the text tool, eraser, and so on. Now, you know, you can just start drawing and 
the interface is really, really receptive to the S Pen input. It's very, it's remarkably accurate. And you know, you can just uh, vary the brush size as simple as that just by dragging. So there you go. And you know, you can even change the opacity. So you could just tap and move the pen vertically to change opacities. You've obviously got a lot of options for colors and um, you know, you can even have a color picker there. So that's quite interesting. Okay. Apart from this, uh, you know, you can also choose this mode, which basically makes it really easy for you to draw symmetrical figures. So when I draw this, it automatically creates a mirror image, uh, you know, making symmetrical uh, objects or symmetrical figures. So it's really uh, nice and uh, something really handy. And apart from that, you have the options to create layers just as, you know, you have in Photoshop and you can export these as uh, Photoshop files. You can take them to your computer later. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is wall base, which is just uh, a library of high definition images that you can download and you can set them as your wallpaper uh, for your phone. You know, your screens are probably HD uh, as this video is for Note 2 and the S3 and the Grand, except the Grand, which is not uh, HD. But irrespective, you've got really nice uh, wallpapers in this. Swipe pad is really handy for big screens. And since I'm talking about big screens, what it does, it just creates these portals that you can access by simply swiping your finger from a hotspot. In my case, it's on the right hand side top section. And I can simply go to the to my Gmail or I can uh, say I want to go to the dialer and you obviously can customize those. So, you know, irrespective which application I'm on, uh, I can just jump to any of those applications that I have configured. And as you can see, I can place this hotspot anywhere throughout the screen. The ninth application is Office Suite. Now, this basically is your Microsoft Office. You've got Word, you've got Excel, PowerPoint, and uh, it's really easy if you couple it with a Bluetooth keyboard the way I have. So, you know, well, you can just start typing just the way you would do it on a computer, right? Because, well, it's a word processing software and you really need to type quickly. Uh, for someone like me, I sometimes live blog and it, it really makes my life easier because I can type very quickly uh, using a Bluetooth keyboard. Now, this application is not free. If you want the full version, it's slightly expensive, but I think it's totally worth it. Uh, if you're having an expensive phone, for example, the Note 2, it's definitely worth it because you're going to make use of it if you really need it. You've got Excel and you've got all the Excel functions, you know, like, like submission, you've got charts and you've got PowerPoint. So you can make PowerPoint on the go uh, for whatever you need it. The last application I want to talk about is Flipboard. Now it's Beautiful. It's basically a news source and you can customize these sources based on your interests. For example, Android news is what I'm really interested in. So I have a section dedicated just to Android news and it just pulls in the feeds from the best blogs. For example, Android Digest or Android Authority and so on. Now you can read the news in, you know, as you can see, the format is pretty neat and clean and really easy. You just have to scroll through the news and once you're done, you can just go back. Now you can read later if you want you know, just to save it for reading, reading it later. And you just need to have a readability account for that. Now you can uh, also share the article if you really like it with your friends or your colleagues uh, through various applications that may be installed on your phone. Now, if you want to add a new source, for example, I suddenly got interested in music. So I just type, uh, well, music and uh, let it search. It's going to pull up various feeds and uh, there you go. So, you know, I just click the, uh, I just tap the plus button and I have subscribed to the music source newsfeed. That's simple. So these are really the apps that, uh, you know, you should have on your Galaxy Note 2, the S3 and the Galaxy Grand. The Google Play links for all of these apps are in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and do not forget to subscribe.